Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to our midweek pause. Before we get started, I know sometimes it can be hard to just stop what you're doing and change your attitude or get your body ready to be quiet and still, so we're going to start by getting some wiggles out. So wherever you are, go ahead and shake your hands, shake your body, shake your feet, shake your head, and bring it all back. Shake your hands. Bring your hands above your head, put them into prayer hands. Bring your hands to center like this. Let's take a deep breath in. And let that breath out. Take a deep breath in. And let that breath out. And as you continue to take deep breaths in and out, find a space where you can feel centered, where you can feel still on your own, where you can breathe comfortably and sit comfortably as we start our midweek pause together. In every midweek pause, we will light a candle for it reminds us of the light of God that is with us in all places and all times. So as we light this candle, we also remember that this is a holy and special time. Even if we're at home and it feels like an ordinary day, this is just a few minutes where we can have special time that is set apart to spend with God. So today I'm going to be reading from the Spark House Bible so if you want to read along with the Storybook Bible, you are welcome to do so. I'm going to be reading starting on page 294, so 294, a story about Jesus walking on water. So if you want to join along, go ahead, get your Bible. And if you're reading from a different Bible, this can be found in Matthew chapter 14 in the New Testament, Matthew chapter 14. So I'm excited to share this story with you. Let's listen together. The disciples were just waking up on their boat. They had been out on the water all night. Oh, yawn, they were tired, stretch. It was so early. The sun wasn't even up yet. Andrew rubbed his eyes and looked into the fog. And he said, hey, do you see what I see? It's a ghost, James cried out in fear. The disciples were shaking in their sandals. They were terrified. Through the fog, they could see the outline of a person walking on water. It was Jesus. Don't be afraid, Jesus said. It's just me. And he waved with a friendly hello. If it's really you, Jesus, tell me to walk on the water, Jesus' friend Peter said bravely. Okay, Jesus shrugged. Come on out, Peter. The water's just fine. Gulp, gulp. Peter swallowed hard and placed one foot out onto the water. Plop. It didn't go under. He tried the other foot. Plop. He was standing. He kept his eyes glued on Jesus as he took a few careful steps. He walked faster and faster. Splish, splash, and only his feet were getting wet. Jesus smiled at him. Peter felt the wind blowing on his face, and he took his eyes off of Jesus and looked up in the dark clouds. And all of a sudden, Peter felt afraid. Uh-oh, his ankles were getting wet, and uh-oh, now his knees were wet. Uh-oh, Peter was sinking. Jesus, help me, save me, he yelled. Jesus reached his hand out and pulled Peter out of the sea. Why did you stop looking at me, Jesus asked, holding tightly to his friend. Don't you trust me? And the wind stopped. They climbed into the boat full of cheering disciples 
Everyone was so excited, shouting, Hooray, this proves it, they said. You really are the Son of God. From that day on, the disciples were excited to tell everyone they had met about the power of Jesus. So as we hear that story, I think about what it was like for Peter to be so brave to step out onto the water and to trust that Jesus would be there with him. I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen anybody walk on water. I've never walked on water. And I guess that's a reminder for us that we can do things with Christ that sometimes feel scary, but with Jesus with us and within us, we are called to be brave and courageous. It doesn't mean we'll always be able to walk on water. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I love to jump in a good puddle. But with Jesus, we are able to do things that sometimes we might think we are unable to do. So with the love of Jesus in our hearts and the strength of Jesus to guide us, and as long as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, we will always be able to be braver than we can imagine. So this week, as we take our pause and feel our breath in our bodies, remember that you are brave and you are beloved and that Jesus will never let you sink. Friends, you are deeply, deeply loved by God. And I am excited to see you again on Sunday morning on Facebook during our children's moment. And I look forward to seeing you on our kids' calls. And until we meet again, go out and know that you are loved by God, who sees you, who knows you, who claims you, who loves you deeply.